So in this tutorial, we're going to uh, model uh, this building. It's uh, some reference image that I found on Google. So I thought it would be interesting to show you and the most efficient techniques to, to get this geometry correct. So we have this image and we have here uh, the side views as well. So let's, let's start. So first thing I'm going to uh, import this image into my Rhino window here so that I can work from it. Uh, next thing is I'm going to use I'm going to use T splines to get this uh, overall shape and then afterwards I'm going to uh, bend it here in this direction. Let me show you that you can actually here cut the image in half if you don't need it. So we don't need the second part, just need this one. Let's start with creating a simple surface with these points. I'm gonna turn off the center for now. And let's do it again. Something like that. I'm going to actually lock this so I don't touch it at all. Okay. And now let's let's see. Okay. I'm going to actually remove the creases so that I have better control over my geometry. Now I'm just going to approximately uh, get the shape as I want it. I'm not going to include the bottom part. I just wanted to show you the the building itself from the, from the top to this area there. So sometimes these drawings can be not very accurate. So I'm just going to uh, do the best I can to get the center. Okay. So here I can see that we might need uh, one more edge here. Like so. Okay. Uh, maybe let's add another one here. Like so. Okay. So let me just check how it looks like. Okay. Another thing you can do to actually uh, see the geometry better is you can uh, move this. Uh, bottom image to a separate layer. Okay. So now I select it and I move it to another layer. Then I go to this material material uh, tab there and change the transparency here so that I can see my my geometry better. And now I can just lock it back again. So here's the geometry. Let's see. So obviously we need more, uh, more control lines on the bottom. Actually, I'm going to extend this, extend this, this more, so that I have the, because I will cut it later with in Rhino. I will draw the surfaces. So now, yeah, let's add another edge there. Move it down a little bit. Let's see how it looks. Okay, let's move everything inside a little bit. And that should be good. Now, let's see. So we need to get this closer. This a little bit wider. Yeah, obviously we need more here. 
Let's insert one edge there. Maybe even here because it's close to the top. So you want to have it better control of it. So let's say that I'm I'm satisfied with this and then now we need to move on so uh, I'm going to uh, go to my perspective view and I'm going to try to ex ex extrude this middle area but before I do that I want to have this image actually on the side so that I can see what I'm doing so uh, the best way to do this is by uh, let's first unlock it let's copy it and now we can use the same trick I showed you before let's go to the middle here and just draw a line there move it up a bit and also let's draw another line here so I just need this middle area I'm going to trim the rest and this will be my thickness and I want to rotate it here so let's go to perspective rotate 3d and there you go so now I have the 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 width of the building so I'm going to lock back this again let's go to the geometry let's go to these lines select uh select the uh the vertices and let's see so now let's go to the side view and let's see what happens okay so we have some problem here obviously problem there So let's just go step by step. Okay. Let's see if we can move these. This will help. So now I'm just going to uh, speed up the video and then I'm going to uh, show you like the overall shape at the end. So now, once I'm uh, happy uh, with the shape I got, uh, I want to actually uh, transform it to a Rhino. So I'm going to right click on this button here and I have Rhino uh, surface. And now let's, uh, let's actually cut the geometry that we don't need, which is this one here. 
using the trim command to trim it and this part I'm just gonna leave it like like this for now and let's let's move on so now we have the base geometry and as you can see it's actually uh, it's actually um, a mirror on, the, on both sides so I'm going to uh, mirror it later on but before that I'm going to uh, draw on top of this some of the geometry that's already there in this facade so let's let's just start drawing I'm going to use a uh, symmetry later on but so that's why I'm just going to uh, to use the one side so I'm gonna draw on one side only I'm going to use polyline it's better mm, but for these shapes actually it's better to use uh, this curve let's turn out the snaps for now something like this I'm going to modify it a bit okay and let's turn back the snaps on and let's finish this part here I'll maybe change this one just a little bit like so and here let's use the fillet of 0 0.5 that's too big 0 0.3 and that's good so uh, let's cut the bottom that you don't need and let's draw a line from there to there so now I have these let's join them and mirror them let's join them again let's do the top part as well So let's modify this one. Okay. I'm happy with that. And let's finish up on the top. Smaller fillet, 0 0.1. Okay. And here let's do it similar zero point three. And there you go. Let's mirror it and let's join it together. And let's do this small part here also. Stream the rest and let's do these circles as well. Like so and let's make these details here you're gonna use polyline for this offset 0 0.1 this is 0 0.05 okay let's join them and let's make small fillets there also and let's multiply this now like so mirror it and we have our details 
Now the last thing we can do is actually try to imitate this uh, uh, glass mullions. So the best way to do this is by actually let's just start drawing the lines. Something like this doesn't need to be perfect. So now let's select all the curves. Let's do the isolation mode. And now I'm going to trim the insides. like so, so they're inside now. Okay, let's delete the rest. And we have the lines there. Unlock again these things and then uh, let's select these lines here and here. And let's do top view, project, enter. So now these lines are projected onto our surface and that's what we wanted. Now I'm going to uh, I'm going to split this element. Like so. And now I have these two. So now I'm going to offset these two surfaces inside. Like so. And let's extract these surfaces because we don't need them now. And this one, and this one, and this one. Enter. And there you go. So now we have the, now we have the the details there. Uh, we can do the same with these lines. So let's go to the top view, project, like so, split, like so, and now let's do the offset surface again. There you go. Now let's extract the top ones. And now I have the geometry. And we can actually join it. To be one solid geometry, one poly surface. Let's Add this also, join everything, and there we go. So now uh, let's, yeah, let's add the rest of the geometry as well. So I uh, can see that we forgot about, we forgot about these um, fans there in the middle, uh, but I'm going to continue without them now because should, it should have been done before. So now let's um, let's change at the glass. So I'm going to use all these lines. Select curves. I'm going to isolate everything. <coughs> see what I need and what I don't need. I'm going to delete uh, just so that I don't have access geometry. I'm going to use trim trim the series there. Like so. Let's now let's select all these curves. Except these ones. We don't need these. Let's group them. Let's uncover our surface. And let's the top view and project on this surface. Now this will take some time to, to calculate. Okay, it's done. 
Uh, now what we can do is uh, we can actually clean it up a little bit. You can see that we do, we, do, we don't need these top these top areas. So I'm gonna clean them and show you later the result. So the best way to clean this geometry is by actually using this surface at the bottom. So I'm going to actually duplicate this first. And I'm going to move all the lines as well. I'm going to copy them also. And let's group them here. And I'm going to use extract surface command to get this surface. And to get this surface as well. I'm going to delete the rest. I'm going to join these and these and I'm going to type duplicate border and do the same at the top. Then I'm going to uncover these and I'm going to use split command split and then select the cutting surface. And there you go. So now we just need to delete the excess lines. Okay, so now, <clears throat> so now we have our geometry there. The last thing we need to do is to uh, actually create very small piping. So I'm gonna type, I'm gonna group this first. Hide everything else. Se select pipe command. Diameter 0 0.03. And we have our piping there. So now I'm just gonna move this. And there it is. That's our division of the glass. And of course we can uh, modify it later if we need, but for now this is good. Uh, once you're happy, once you're happy with this shape, then we can just um, let's do it in 3D. Let's move it here and do the rest of the building. So this we can group. We can group it and then go to the top. Rotate and let's see. Since this is the top, top has some space in between. I'm going to mirror like this, and then we just need to connect this middle area. So as you can. It has, it has the glass also in the middle there. So I'm just going to connect these two. Uh, best way to do this is by <clears throat> first let's let's use this edge. I'm going to extrude it a little bit like so. And then I'm going to extrude it inside. like this and then I'm going to use set point to bring it back somewhere around there like so I'm going to join this I'm going to mirror this on the other side like so and Okay, so next thing we can do is extract ISO curve. Something like here. 
and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the same for this uh, there. And now we're gonna use sweep two. Boom, boom. And this should do it. Okay. So now we have. Now we have well, everything. Now we have the building there. Okay, and that uh, that would be our building. I uh, hope that you uh, like the process and that you learn something new. And I'm going to render this and show you how it looks at the end. So here is the final render. I uh, hope that you like the image. And if you enjoyed these tutorials, please uh, like, share and subscribe.